fast, but for sure it's a very stable and clean run. So at the moment, both Alex Bell, oh no, Noel Hendricks just had the asterisk removed. So an asterisk next to Alex Baldoni's name. Yeah, and now Gabriel De Costa has started the run and uh, see what he can do. I, he's really strong and, and I can think. really do some nice stuff in the course. I know he always go for like the fastest line, whatever it is, he will always go for it and it's really good to see. Had a great World Cup in Laseo last year, I think it was, wasn't it? That, uh... Yeah, maybe. I know he had been doing really good in Po as well, where he probably trains the most, but yeah, we'll see. So, again, just uh, another of the countries that we are excited to see them doing well from Belgium. Yeah, and he's doing really well, I think, Yeah, right now. Like, tricky combination, and he stays really in control, and now he needs to get the speed over, and really tight exit is good. A little touch there, maybe. Yeah. Is there a rule of thumb, Frederick, with uh, comparing to the women's time, what you would expect? So, Jess Fox had a 102.31. Would you generally expect that the fastest men would go 10 seconds faster than than the fastest woman? Is, is that the, the rule of thumb? That could be the rule of thumb. Now, Jessica is very fast when yes. she pulls it down, and I think she can be a lot closer than that to the fastest man, but yeah. 10 seconds would be a good guess. So, I uh, certainly I think if anybody can go sub 90 amongst the men, that will really uh, put them in a good position for position for the top 10 and for a spot in the final. So at the moment, you just saw Gabriel Tacostic with a gate touch and 98. So yeah. Uh